worst hurricane in Jamaica's storm-battered history lashes at the island for four roaring hours. Winds reaching 135 miles an hour tear at Kingston, a city of 250,000. Within minutes after the storm strikes, Kingston is plunged into total darkness as debris is hurled through the air with express train speed and the wind-driven sea floods streets and dwellings. After a night of howling horror, the full toll of damage is revealed by daylight. The famous Myrtle Bank hotel grounds are a shambles. Virtually all the trees are uprooted or broken. Shipping suffers heavily as countless small craft are driven aground. When Jamaica totals up the damage, it comes to $56 million with a practically ruined sugar crop. In the city's mental hospital, 18 die as the walls collapse. And throughout the island, the death toll is put at 109. Sodden belongings are sunned as Jamaica begins the long, dreary process of digging out and drying out. As the hurricane slashed its way across the island, it left a path of utter destruction and complete paralysis. Transportation is at a standstill with stations wrecked. Historic St. Michael's Church, one of the oldest in the West Indies, is unroofed. It was many hours before the full extent of the disaster could be relayed to the outside world as communications became a tangle of wires. In four short hours, one of the garden spots of the Caribbean is transformed into a steaming, soaking mass of wreckage.